badly. Hello guys, so welcome back to the um, stream of Hogwarts Legacy. Ah. There's Dobby in the background. <laughs> um, so let's, like I say, let's let's do this guys. Let's go. Wait a second, I'm just going to play it. Wait, give me a second. Yes, come on. Right, I'm going to go and speak with Professor Lee. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Mm. Expelliarmus. Let me open. Identify for now at least. Right. I do a conjure now. I have some questions about conjuration. Yes? There are so many choices. What items do you think I should conjure? I shall leave that entirely up to you. This is your space after all. I will say that a simple addition such as a wall hanging or a portrait might make the space feel unique. I think I can manage from here. Thank you. I look forward to seeing your work. Wait. 
Sorry, Alex. I don't have anything for this at the moment. Second, just gonna look it up, guys. I've not played the game for a long time. It says it's a conjure. Um, that's the one. That's why I doubt it on. So can do decoration. Come on, let's 
Че, че, че. Novo mar. Changes on it, pretty good. This is not another one. Yeah. Shall we move on? Oh, done. I shall change that back. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? 
Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. and perform the altering spell to customize it. Change the color. You're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try aiming at the floor or at that balcony using the altering spell. Your space might it from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you?
I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. space how did that happen the room equips itself to your needs it must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting if you'd like to customize the space further you can use these spell crafts you'll find more of them both inside and outside the school thank you professor i shall keep an eye out good i'll leave you to it this is your space now use it wisely See where we go now, guys. Like I say guys, if you go to Scott Q4, the YouTube channel, and you'll see a lot more of this um, different games that I've done. I've just completed Jedi, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, and I'm completely, um, and I'm just started um, doing Hogwarts Legacy. Um, so let's try and do this mission. I think it's underneath me. I can spend all my uh, just taking me to it. Oi, can you help me? Oh. No. I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. 
Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Nearly Headless Nick asked me to get some rotten roast beef from the kitchens. Rotten roast beef? Yes, I thought it was odd too. But then we took the roast beef to Sir Podmore of the Headless Hunt and... You met the Headless Hunt? <laughs> that must have been interesting to say yes. the... And then I had to find Richard Jackdaw's head in the pumpkins so that he'd tell me about how he died. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. Safe travels, my young friends. made and over here the forbidden forest and of course hogwarts it's magnificent if only you were here to see this Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the Keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, 
The passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is great news indeed. Young, Young friend, friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful, and do not tell anyone where you're going. the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. Thank you, Professor Frigate, so... All people.
Revelio. Fly when I get out here. <laughs> Rebellion. Protego. Rebellion. Let's have a look at the controls. Rebellion. I get my brain, why is that all my brain? I don't know how you get your brain on. <coughs> give me a second, guys. See how long we've done as well. Um, we're on 40 minutes now. Um, we're going to travel to the town on the next episode. But to see how you get your brain work, because that's some money. Second, 
don't think I can fly. Don't let me. Right, I'm ending it here guys, but please go to ScottQ4 and you'll be able to see episode 12 when I bring that out. Um, so we're on our way to meet Professor Fig at the tower to find out the secrets of the ancient magic. So I'll see you in the next one guys. Peace out.